to kind of get obsessed with this idea of like keeping up with the Joneses. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. And trying to be as good as some of the other people and really sometimes burning yourself out. This the anthem. If you rock it, put your hands up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. apartment right now that's why I still have uh, some boxes I'm still kind of in the process of unpacking but I'm about to go to the gym and get started in my first week really being fully back at the gym because I've moved closer to the gym I've done a video before on how I used to live 27 miles away and I was having more trouble getting there as things at work changed because I just didn't have as much time to sit in the car but now I live closer so I'm gonna start my first full week back of training so I wanted to document that but this morning I also woke up to see that Andrew Hiller had done a video on Simply Mander. I personally know Andrew Hiller, I don't know Simply Mander but I've seen her all over YouTube and Instagram and in the CrossFit space for a very long time and I've watched a lot of her stuff and I had already seen the video where she talked about how CrossFit ruined her, at least that's what it was titled as and Andrew Hiller saw it recently and clicked on it and he commented on it. And I was actually thinking about doing a video commenting on her video as well, um, but don't wanna go in, in as in depth into it as Hiller did. I just don't feel that that's needed. He went into it, you can check out his video or check out her original video. But I did think that some of the things she said were pretty interesting. I also feel that I've gotten you know, sucked into this whole, um, you need to do more thing, you can be a competitive CrossFitter and things like that. I think everyone can compete on certain levels, but not everybody is going to be Tia Claire Toomey. And that's just the reality. And I'm not gonna get into the PED things because I don't really know about that. I've never been on PEDs and I don't really know a lot of people who have expressed to me that they've been on PEDs, so I just don't know a ton about that and don't feel comfortable claiming certain people are on PEDs or what. But I also just think people have certain abilities, and I think Hiller made that clear as well, that certain people are just born genetically predisposed to being really great at CrossFit. And as Simply Mander mentioned, CrossFit has evolved over the years into being a full-time profession for a lot of these people. CrossFit is not my full-time profession. So when I started this YouTube channel, I think I was still in that place of just trying to get to be the best I can be. And I still wanna do that, but I was doing a ton of stuff to try and get there. And I was sort of neglecting other things so that I could dedicate even more time to the gym. And while I love the gym and I'm getting back into going uh, six days a week like I used to, I am not going to ever be that level of a competitor. I honestly don't think I want to. I like competing locally and I like doing competitions when I have the opportunity and I love competing in the gym every day. That's why I advocate CrossFit classes so much over just working out alone because I think that little bit of competition you get working out next to somebody is so valuable and I will tell everybody that they should do that because I think that that intensity piece of CrossFit, which is part of the core value of CrossFit, is working out with intensity. Um, I think that really happens in the CrossFit class space and not as much alone. Some people can push themselves to a crazy intensity alone, and I feel like some days we can all do it, but it's really hard to do it every day by yourself. And not that you necessarily push yourself to the max every single day, but I think you're gonna get a little bit more out of yourself working out with other people more often. So that's why I'm going back to classes. This first week back in CrossFit, I'm not doing much additional stuff, I decided. I haven't been working out at this volume for a long time. So I think that for my health, which is really the most important thing for me, because I'm not competing to win the games like Tia, um, I'm going to just take class for the first week and then add in extra stuff. Prior to getting super busy with work, I was doing two to three hours in the gym, five days a week and a six day of just like active recovery. 
but I don't think I should just jump back into that. I don't think that's great for my body when I haven't been doing that. So I think easing back in with the CrossFit class is going to be just right. And I'm gonna to stick to that even when I don't want to this week. So I think there's gonna be times when I'm excited to be back in the gym and wanna do extra squats and wanna do extra stuff. And that's just not where I am right now. But back to the CrossFit ruined me video and Hiller's response. I do think like they both mentioned, um, you kind of get obsessed with this idea of like keeping up with the Joneses and trying to be as good as some of the other people and really sometimes burning yourself out to do that. And I never really felt like I was, like I always loved what I was doing. I never felt like I was forcing myself to do it. It's just that recently I got really busy with work, but I think that I had to find more balance because there were other things that I loved that I wasn't doing as much of because I was trying to do more CrossFit. And I am just a regular average CrossFitter, kind of like I think Simply Mander was alluding to in her video that she's not, you know, a competitive go to the games athlete, especially at this, like at this point in her life. But I definitely am not and likely will never be. But I am like most of you that are watching this. I'm just a regular person who sometimes likes to see just how fit I can be. And I'm trying not to get caught up, overly caught up in the competitive stuff now. Because I feel like, like Simply Mander did, there were times I was getting overly obsessed with it and just wanting to be better and that being such a big focus in my life. And I have so many other great things in my life and being like the most elite CrossFitter, I don't think is my calling, but being a good CrossFitter is something I am passionate about. I think something that anyone can do. And I think we can all try to reach our potential of being the best CrossFit athlete we can be or the best anything you could be. But in addition to being good at CrossFit and being good in the gym and being competitive among my peers, I also wanna be great at my job. I wanna be a great dog mom. I want to be you know, a good friend and a good person to be around and a human that people can rely on. And I think to have a proper balance between all of that, you can't get obsessed with, or at least I can't get obsessed with this whole idea of keeping up with the Joneses. And I could relate to what Simply Manager spoke about a little bit. Just getting a little too wrapped up in that world and having that end up having negative impacts on you long term and not necessarily be the most healthy for you long term. So I'm gonna get back into classes, just doing classes for now, then ease into some more volume. And I'm doing CrossFit for life. I'm doing CrossFit to be better at everything I do so that I can lug my camera gear up and down the stairs when I'm reporting. That's why I'm doing CrossFit. And so I can like throw down my friends and beat some people sometime and have some bragging rights. That's definitely fun too. But I'm, you know, I'm not trying to compete at a high level because I just don't think that's my priority. And it's great if that's yours. And there are people who are going to compete at that high level. There's new people popping in all the time. But I am also 29. Not that you can't be in your late 20s or 30s and be competitive. There's divisions for that, you totally can. But if you've been doing CrossFit as long as me and you haven't gotten to that level yet, you're probably not going to the games. And that's fine. Like I said, most of us aren't going to the games. But we can all learn from each other and be inspired by each other and also be inspired by seeing people balance life better. And I think that's what I'm trying to do. I don't know if I'm gonna do it well or <laughs> inspire anybody, but I'm going to try to have more uh, fitness, work, life balance because I think that's important. So head into the gym. First I have to say bye to this guy who's just been laying with me because he's my best friend. One eternity later. So it should be a few minutes later, but it is not. I forgot my camera on Monday when I recorded the first part of this and I didn't want to go back and get it. So I didn't record on Monday. Then Tuesday's workout was really fast, like two minute workout. And I just didn't think that was worth recording. It just wasn't that exciting of a workout. Loved Monday's workout. I'll put that here. It was a longer one with intervals, uh, like 25 minutes longer. 23 minutes if you don't count that last rest. I love that workout, that was great. Yesterday's workout was just some kettlebell swings and lunges. 
I didn't like it, but you know, constantly varied, right? So it was a really long time domain and the next day a short time domain. I love CrossFit. Like the beginning of this was talking about, you know, that video where Simply Manders talked about how CrossFit ruined her and how like I sort of related to some of it, but I also think CrossFit is like the greatest thing and has made my life so much better. And I am so appreciative that I've gotten to do it for this long and that I continue to get to do it, even though it's evolved in the way I'm doing it right now, which is just, just the hour class. So we're about to do the hour class two days after that first part was finished. That's what I stand on. Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. Talking big, big. I knew that one day that I could make it big, big. I'm talking how to stay smoking without a sense. Now we get up and do all like we got a big way. It's getting serious. I know you're curious. See some losses through the process at me curious. But I got eyes on the vision, can't get delirious. Fall in love with the game and then you marry it. I think I married it. This the anthem. If you rock it with it, put your hands up. My word, that's what I stand on. Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. If it's love, I got it tatted. Father, I'm not apps. I was working. It's very sweaty. It's hotter out than I thought it was going to be. But it's good. Enjoying the heat out here in the East Bay now that I've moved. And uh, the snatches were heavy. They felt heavy. They were heavier snatches, but they felt heavy, even heavier for me because I haven't been working out as much. Steven! Yeah. How was that? Oh, uh, this is fun. I yeah. uh, just got to keep grinding, no sprint and no jog, just keep medium pace. Felt like you were running fast at the beginning. <laughs> I, hey, you were faster than me at the end. At the end, not at the beginning. <laughs> That's true. We went out too hot. Okay, just got home from work. Long day, but I'm going to try to finish editing this video and get it up for all of you. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like this video and maybe I'll do more content, uh, vlog style content about, you know, maybe like a day in the life at work and stuff like that if you're all interested in that. Let me know. I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.